Hey guys, so fairly quickly, I just wanted to let you guys know that I know I haven't seen you guys in such a long time and I'm so sorry, work has been so busy and I haven't been able to create any nice art that I actually like. So I feel so disappointed when I make a drawing again. I wanna share it, but I hate it. So I don't wanna share it because it's so ugly to me. But I did share on this video a sketch of kind of like a sketch like of a character that I designed. Um, I did post it on Instagram and if you don't follow me on Instagram, what are you waiting for? It's at Blush Garden right here. I'm going to try my best guys to YouTube as much as possible, but I know I've been posting a bunch of vlogs, but surprisingly I don't do a lot, so there's nothing to really vlog. I don't know, I guess I just need different content ideas for my YouTube channel because I kind of want this YouTube channel to be all around of who I am and what I do if people care, which I know people don't because it's weird, but whatever. Because I love to watch YouTubers that do different things or just like show their life or they're just being themselves and I love that and I would like to be a part of that. So I will be sharing my art and my art journey with you guys because art is basically my life. So today I am planning to go to my uncle's ranch. Uh, it'll be really nice to get out there. Like We love going out there. It's just always so fun and they're so cool. I love them. Love you aunt and uncle. Okay guys, so we're first starting off the vlog with a trip that we took to the beach um, earlier last month. And I think picking up pizza on our way to the beach is just part of the ritual of going to the beach. So we're probably going to do that forever and every time that we go. It was so fun because we did a lot of sightseeing. We stopped by the lighthouse and uh, by the little shops by the lighthouse. And we also got to check out a little mini museum that's right next to it. And the only thing that sucked was that we were trying to find an actual museum to go to, but uh, we couldn't find one and we ran out of time, so. Guys, this crystal shop, it's amazing. I come here almost every time that I come to the beach. Um, there's also other little shops of people who create different uh, clothing or necklaces with the crystals. It's just so nice and I love to buy crystals from here. Um, this is a cafe, the Lighthouse Cafe. It's actually a hotel and a cafe. They sell gelato, coffees and things like that. And actually art pieces and candles and just everything in the gift shop and it's just such a beautiful place it's perfect here i had to get some caramel coffee My only regret is not buying these edible flowers. Ugh, I hope they're still there next time when I go. And then after we visited that cafe, we headed off to the beach. The weather was so perfect this day. Uh, we had brought some sodas, some juices, and some stuff to make some sandwiches. And it was just perfect. Like Water is the perfect view. And I got to do some sketching while I was there. It was really fun.
so by dark we started to head back but we had a little bit of car trouble so luckily we were stuck right next to a starbucks so i got to enjoy some chai tea latte and my parents came to the rescue so <laughs> thanks mom and dad Right, guys so this is a sketch that i had posted on instagram of this like goth girl i didn't really have a plan when i designed her or anything so i just kind of made her up on the spot and i was having a little trouble with what look i wanted for her i wasn't sure if i wanted her to be like kind of looking like angry um, but I thought maybe having her happy would be better because she's supposed to be wearing like her loungewear at her house, um, talking with her friends on her phone. So as you can probably tell, I don't have that much experience drawing digitally, so I think some of the decisions I made are not 100% uh, great, but um, I have to keep drawing digitally because I do want to get better at it. I feel like I do have the chance to get better, so for now I'll just have to deal with um, the learning curves. But for the design of her clothes, I did want to do a red shirt with like a skull on it and just I feel like an edgy loungewear cute outfit and for her jacket I had a hard time I wasn't sure what color I wanted to do for it so I tried a couple different colors but I think the color I ended up picking uh, worked really well with her clothing design So after I finished the character, I thought it would be fun to add like her, what her vanity looked like, her bag, you know, things like that. So that part was really, really fun, but I hope you guys enjoy watching the sketch process. Hey guys, hopefully this mic is working as good as I think it is because I don't want to have to film it again. 
Hey guys, I'm just hopping in here to show you guys a quick little haul of some things that I got these past few weeks that I wasn't able to share with you guys before. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that now. Recently, I got this super cute City Middle plush. I love it so much. I this lives on a shelf with Kudomi. This is so cute. I got this one at the mall. Um, she's so adorable. There's only one downside about this thing. She's torn. And I'm very sad because I didn't notice that when I purchased it and they do no exchange or refunds. Horrible. I also got this super cute uh, boba plush pillow. It's so cute. I got it from my bed and it does live on my bed and it's so adorable. I got it for $10 at Marshalls. So I, have, I love going to Hot Topic and I'm about to go again this weekend to go get some other things that I really want and been keeping my eye on. So recently, the My Melody and Kuromi, they have like a new line of, of Lolita. Guys, I'm telling you, I needed... I walked in here not needing this and when I saw it I couldn't leave without it it's so cute it's a heart-shaped bag of Kuromi and my melody it's just so adorable and I cannot wait to find the perfect outfit to wear this with because I love it so much just look at it it's so cute and then in the back the the, the straps are like little hearts and it's just <sighs> I love it it's so cute and it's pink in the inside it's just so nice this bag was a must so. and as I was there at Hot Topic that day I couldn't walk out without these so I got the my Melody uh, Lolita Pop it, oh my god look at her she's just so cute and then I also got the Kuromi of course walked out that store with a little bit of wallet damage but it's okay it was worth it I love them they're adorable and these actually live together on a shelf as well that's in my bedroom Oh my gosh, I hope I can get more. I've not been lucky seeing any Sanrio pops, uh, but Kuromi is my favorite, so I've never seen her ever available. I feel like she's always like sells out really fast. I mean, just like Hello Kitty, they sell out really fast. At Walmart, I got this super cute little boba plush, like a mini one. It's so adorable. It's like a little bear. Um, I love this. This lives on the shelf with Sinimiro and Kiromi. Kuromi excuse me so adorable I loved it I needed it I have it it's mine I also got this makeup bag from Marshalls I love it I was in need of a makeup bag for like a hand one because like I have like a big makeup case um, but I wanted like a small one so something I can take with me in the car or you know sometimes I do travel with this uh, because when you wear a lot of eye makeup like I do you need to do touch-up sometimes so I love this and I just added these keychains at the end of them like Jack Skellington is there it's so cute I love this and I want another one because I'm crazy so I'm going to show you guys my bag I've had this bag for years like my grandma bought it for me at the mall a long time ago like I think I was 15 14 24 <laughs> but look how the bag's in good condition I mean yeah it has a little like a little dance but because um some people like to sit on it and not pay attention where they sit but on this bag i got these really cute keychains um so the bag's not new the keychains are new look just look at cinemato it's so cute i love this so much like if i switch my bag this is coming with whatever bag i love it and i also got this little cross that keychain is from Shein. I love it. It's just so cool. I love crosses. I just... Jesus! And then I got these cute little Hello Kitty keychains that come with the little band. And then this one too over here. I got these at the flea market, guys. <sighs> Run, don't walk. It's just so cute. And that was it. Those are just like the little things that I got. And then... Oh! I also found these little clips. I've been seeing them all over the internet. I don't know the brand or anything about it, but these like come with little diamonds. I know that the originals don't or whatever, or I don't know if they do, but this is so cute. I love sparkle. I needed this. Sparkle on everything, please. It came with different colors, so it came with a pastel pink one too. So it came with a pastel pink, pastel blue, a hot pink, and then a pastel purple, and the purple one I gave to my sister. Cause she's the one who actually gifted these to me. I just remembered. 
Thank you, sister. I do love to wear my hair down, but sometimes like when I'm getting things done or drawing, I need my hair to be like back. It just uh, frustrates me sometimes. Um, but yeah, guys, that was it for my little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if anything, I do plan to go to Hot Topic again this weekend and hopefully I can make it out to the flea market so I can show you guys more things that I find because like, guys, I don't get to, I don't have any friends to tell them what I bought. So you guys are like my friends so I can tell you guys what I got. Like, still my besties. So I'm really excited to get more things and to show you guys and so you guys can like it too. And okay, that's it. Back to the video. Bye, 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 bye. that's about it for the video guys hope you all enjoy it and i hope you guys have a wonderful day or night hold on guys i've actually been thinking about having like an ending like a closing for um, my videos i watch a lot of youtubers and some of them have like a like an ending like goodbye basically instead of just me saying see you in the next one uh, which i will see you in the next one but I'm kind of cliche and I'm really cheesy, so I want to come up with something like, I don't know, kind of corny, but also really sweet. So I've been thinking and I'm going to run a few by you guys right now. So one of the things that I was thinking about last night that I wanted to say for my videos when they end is be kind to yourself and be kind to others because I really do feel that way. Even though I may seem grumpy a lot, I'm not. I'm just emo it's so true and i always forget to be kind to myself and it's really important for us to do that because we are our bestest friends and we're with our own selves all day every day so it's so important to have that habit and routine for ourselves because we should be nice to ourselves because we deserve it we're human beings and we're not perfect but uh, we deserve to give ourselves a little credit sometimes so i'm thinking about that tell me if you like it if you guys have any other ideas of what i should say uh, definitely share with me in the comments, okay? Because I'm thinking about saying that. That's what I'm thinking. Anyways, guys, goodbye. <laughs>